beneath the wheel window, almost like a foundation, stand the windows that commemorate one of the foundational families of what would become Dumbarton United Methodist Church. In the center, Henry Foxall, iron worker and some say one of the earliest defense contractors, born in England in 1758. His daughter, Mary Ann, born in 1789, when the family lived in Ireland. And the man that Mary Ann would eventually marry, Samuel McKinney, the only non-immigrant of the trio, born in 1792 in Chesterton, Maryland. This family certainly saw its share of ups and downs. They saw the ravages of disease as Mary Ann's mother, Anne, was taken in the yellow fever epidemic in Philadelphia in 1798. They saw fortunes go up and down. Henry saw not one but two of his early mentors lose their fortunes. And Samuel, when his father died in testate when he was only 16, found himself and his 13 brothers and sisters left without resources. Marianne herself, after the death of her father, entered legal wrangles with a second stepmother only eight years older than she and lost a great deal of her fortune as a consequence. And yet, this family spent so much of their wealth and resource here in this congregation, creating works that would endure, even if unsung, in the community, that one cannot help but feel that they were influenced by that cross and sovereignty somewhere above them. To choose the works of God rather than the works of men. Leaving us all to ask the question, what will we do with our seven days of creation that is worthy of a day of resurrection?